everyone, I'm Shirley with Entertainment Weekly, and I am here at Comic-Con with the cast of Star Trek Discovery. Hey. Hey. Hi, Go guys. <laughs> Go, everyone. Yeah. Um, I want to start with the man right next to me, Anson, who is joining season, yeah, right in your face, <laughs> who is joining season two as Pike. Now, I know you've been a Trekkie, I think you've said before, since you were, what, eight? So tell us about your Trekkie history and how you feel about playing Pike. Oh, Star Trek was one of our go-to make-believe games. We'd pull some chairs up to, for some reason, the fireplace, <laughs> which was the bridge. And we would argue over who got to be Kirk and Spock because nobody wanted to be Sulu or Chekhov. And we didn't have any, uh, we never had an O'Hara because the girls wouldn't play with us, so. Um, what else do you want to? That's is that, tragic. That the <laughs> I don't even remember what the question was. Sad story. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I like that we started on such a down note. So. I want to bring it back up. Tell us about this iteration of Pike and your research that well, went into it. I think I'm. I think we're all still learning <laughs> about yes. about Pike, and 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 that's a testament to uh, wanting to be true to the to the character, and because uh, they're big shoes to fill. Yes. So we're we're still figuring it out as we go. But I I do know this. I like him. <laughs> that's good to know. And I don't always I don't always play people that I like. Mm -hmm. um, I think he had uh, good parents, and I know he had good mentors. Mm. Mm. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> now, we do know one of the biggest things about this season is we are going to get on board the Enterprise. We ran a photo with Burnham aboard. Mm -hmm. So I do want to know, what was it like walking onto the <laughs> ship? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. It's it's, it's very exciting. You know, we always, we have the connective tissue already. You know, I, I say a lot, we all say a lot that, you know, the canon is our central nervous system. And so we have these, we have these things, you know, we have these, these through lines. Um, but just to have it tangible, to have it in front of you, to have it be a physical space that you can see, it was, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. Yeah. It's very exciting. I'm very, I'm, very, I'm very grateful for the courage that it took and the brilliance as well to, to write this particular story in this way. Mm -hmm. And to connect us to the franchise in the way that we're connected. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Follow-up question to that. You did say about season two that this was going to be focused more on family this season. Does that mean, maybe this is more a question for Alex and Heather, Spock? Um, well, um, That wasn't even a question. I, Spock? I, I, <laughs> that wasn't really a question. Uh, obviously, with Pike comes a certain set of characters who are in, a, in that timeline. Uh, anything can happen, obviously. Um, Family is a major theme, but not just Burnham's family, the bridge crew as a family. Mm -hmm. And how last year was really about them kind of finding each other and, and, and deciding to become one. This, this year, it's, it's really at a whole other level mm -hmm. because the family is, they're going to have to make some very, very serious choices about which family you choose, which family you inherit. Uh, where they came from and where they're going. So family becomes a big theme, which is not the answer to your question, and that was my whole point. <laughs> but every character is really getting to explore their chosen family versus their birth family, mm. uh, every one of them. And I think that's going to uh, go with the overall theme, and mm. it enables everyone to get deeper into their characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I enjoy that we've placed, maybe inadvertently, you two very far apart from each other. I don't want to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in the middle. Right in the middle, yeah. I get a, I get a crick in my neck every time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the tension there is so palpable. Oh, no. no, no. Only but, love for that one. <laughs> but I do, I would love to hear what can you tease about your potential return? Can we well, talk about that? I'm here now. Yes, you are. So that should tell you or something. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, we've, we've been pretty honest with the audience early on mm -hmm. that um, Dr. Culver will be returning. In what form and in what way, you'll have to watch and see. Mm -hmm. um, but I can guarantee you that it's going to be um, very satisfying for the audience. I th you know, for me, what I'm most excited about for this season is I feel like what's happening on, on screen is, is going to be so exciting for the audience. Like, I'm excited mm -hmm. thinking about how excited mm -hmm. their, the, the fans are going to be. <laughs> I really am. Um, so, I, you know, I, I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about people seeing how we make this all work and mm -hmm. I mean it's for me it's just magic to be with these people day in and day out and mm -hmm. to be able to do what I love with them and mm -hmm. the fact that they've allowed me to 
join them again, I am beside myself. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'd love to talk a little bit more about the bridge crew because this year we have a new addition, correct me if I'm wrong, a Saurian named Linus. Yeah. <laughs> Great oh. name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doug, how do you feel about some uh, alien rivalry? <laughs> <laughs> no, you should see us together when the cameras aren't rolling. We hug, we cut faces, we go, oh. you're so cute. No, you're so cute. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think I, I would love to see uh, Saru and Linus um, play chess one day <laughs> in the show, if you can write that, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, no, no rivalry at all. Yeah, that'll be fun. We, we were all sitting around, like, just in our little off-camera area waiting for a shot, and, and the, the actor who plays Linus was in his full gear just sitting there, and just we could just watch him sit there and get <laughs> mesmerized. Yeah. Yeah, 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 David Tomlinson is his name, yeah. And he, yeah. he inhabits, you know how Doug has made such a wonderful career of inhabiting these critters and creatures and you the, the the it comes through same thing with mm -hmm. with Linus yeah. yes and same really thing with talented. you as well getting to play <laughs> what can you tease about her this season I can tease a few fun mm -hmm. things uh, one is that yes you're gonna continue uh, to see Laurel grapple with na this power that was so graciously uh, bestowed upon me by Burnham and that detonator um, mm -hmm. you know she is the Chancellor now the Klingon Empire is still very patriarchal so there's some people that might not appreciate a woman in charge, mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to do my best to uphold Takuvma's vision. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, with new responsibility comes new aesthetic. And uh, there's, there's, Laurel has some fun, fun new chancellor looks that yes. I really, really am very, very <laughs> happy about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of new looks, I haven't forgotten about Tilly and Killy back here. I'm right behind you. <laughs> watching but tell us you. about. <laughs> Hello. <Hey. laughs> tell us about her this season. Um. Well, Tilly is continuing I her. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a trained actor. I can project. Um. <laughs> um Tilly's. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's more about Tilly. Um, Tilly is continuing her journey. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> well, that's that's good to know. <laughs> it's really informative. Yes. You're all welcome. Mary, <laughs> welcome to Inside the Actors Studio. Yes, yeah. especially with so many of you here. Like I said before, I feel like I'm like leading a class, and it's very, yeah. where is everyone? How is everyone doing? It's like trying to catch smoke. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, we do want to know. I think the fans are really, really invested in how this season will link up with the canon. As you've mm. said, is the heart of the show. Mm -hmm. How do you keep the time? Timeline straight. This is for everybody, really. How do you keep the canon straight? Where you guys are fitting in? I know you. I believe you've said before that it's very important that all the pieces link up. So, what's the biggest challenge to that? Um, we honestly, last year I was so looking forward to next year because this is the year where we will link up with canon, and you will understand exactly how, and it will be done in a way that's very surprising. So, whatever you think it's going to be is not what it's going to be. <laughs> You're Great. Right. <laughs> yeah. But we also, yeah. obviously, doing a show, Star Trek, you have to have people, especially in the writer's room, who are a thousand percent canon focused. And right. we have a few of those, namely um, a writer named Kirsten Byer, who will call out, well, actually, in 2376, this is what happened. And right. she can yes. name the exact thing that happened in the exact day. And we have to have that because, you know, there are fans watching that mm -hmm. stuff for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I, yeah, I think we trust, we trust so much the writer's room and everybody and the fact that they are so um, deep into the canon that, I, you know, I, I feel like it's one less thing that we have to worry about. Mm -hmm. Like, we can deal with the work and mm -hmm. trust that it's been taken care of and we can do what we have to do. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We have lots of canon conversations. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, they're very yeah. enlightening. Mm -hmm. They're thrilling. We like to have them with each other where we toss dates back and forth yeah. and, you know, you know, talk about the, 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 the lines and the, you know. That's part the of the facts. fun of it, too. It starts to feel really collaborative yes. when, like, you can run to Sneakwood and be like, hey, yeah. is this right? Like, this and this and that, you know, and try to put everything together. It's, like, actually part of the fun of doing Star Trek. Absolutely. So true. I enjoy that canon conversation, the canon canon versations. That's yeah. unwieldy. Oh, yeah. but, yeah. but that is all of the time we have, so we can't wait to see where the series boldly goes in yes. season two. Yes. Thank you Thank guys you. all Thank for being you. here. Thank I'd love to wrap you. it up with a Vulcan salute. Can everyone oh, do it? Right. Right. Live, Live long yes. and prosper. Live long and prosper, everybody. Yes. And you as well. You got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs>